All right, in this project, we're going to be building an application to manage recipes. All right, so we'll be able to store recipes, we'll be able to update them, delete them, and so forth. So as far as the technology, we're going to use PostgreSQL, which is something we haven't used yet in this course. It's a relational database that's much like MySQL. The syntax, the query language is pretty much the exact same. It's, it's based on SQL. Um, we'll be using something called Node Postgres. And if we quickly just look down here, you can see that we can connect to our database using a connection string. And then we can call queries with client.query. All right, we can call uh, select, update, insert, delete. So we'll be using that. We're also going to be using Dust.js for our templates. And there's a module called Express Dust that integrates pretty well with Express. So we'll be using that for our layouts. All right, so first thing I want to do is get Postgres installed on our system. You can install it in Windows like I am, or you could use Mac or Linux. Um, but what we're going to do is click on the download link here. And I'm on Windows, so that's what I'm going to choose. And there's actually a graphical installer that includes Postgres and also PG Admin. Now, if you've never used this before, PG Admin is pretty similar to PHP My Admin for MySQL. It'll, it's a graphical user interface that allows you to create databases and tables and all that. All right, so we'll just grab that. All right, now let's see. We want the latest version. So that would be this one, and I'm on a 64-bit system, so I'm going to choose this button. All right, so that should start downloading. And it's only 61 megabytes, not too bad. All right, so let's open that up. Okay, so here's the installer. Let's just go through it. I'm going to leave it in the default directory, default data directory. Okay, you're going to have to provide a password for your super user. Please select the port number. We're going to leave it at the default, which is 5432. And default locale, that's fine. All right. All right, so that's all set. Now you're going to get this this prompt for a stack builder, but we're going to uncheck that. We don't need that and then just click finish. So now what we want to do is we want to open up PG admin. So I'm going to go to my little search bar down here and go to PG admin three and run as administrator. All right, and you should see something like this. And then right here where we have servers one, you want to click on that and then just click connect. All right, then it's going to prompt you for the password that um, you had to enter when we installed it. All right, now I have a database here called recipe book. You shouldn't. You should only have Postgres. Uh, I was using this for development. Uh, also, if you go to login roles, you should only have Postgres there as well. All right, so what we're going to do is create a new login role first. Okay, so role name, we'll just say, um, I'm just going to say Eduonix. You can call it whatever you'd like. And I think that's all we need. Oh, the password. Okay, and then also role privileges. We're going to click can create databases, can create roles, and super user. All right, so click OK. And now what we're going to do is go to the databases right here and click New Database. All right, and you can call this what you whatever you'd like. I'm going to call it uh, Recipe Book DB. All right, and then for owner, I'm going to choose the user that we just created. OK, so that should be good. So now we can click OK. And that should create your database. All right, now if we open this up and we click in schemas, public, and then we have this tables item down here. This is where we can create a table. 
So let's do that. We'll click New Table. And you should see a, um, a form like this. So name, let's call it Recipes. Owner will be the user we created. And I think that's good. Okay, so let's click OK. And then what we'll do is click on the plus sign next to the recipes table and where it says columns, we're going to create a new column. Okay, so this is going to be the ID. The data type is going to be uh, serial. Okay, so you want to look for serial right here. Okay, and this is going to auto increment by default for us. And then what we want to do is go to SQL. And we want this to be our primary key. I'm going to uncheck this read only. And then down here, we're just going to add on to this and say primary key. Just like that. And then we'll click OK. And that creates the ID for us. And it also made it the primary key. You can see that now in constraints, we have this recipes P key. Okay, let's create another field or another column rather. So columns, new column. Okay, this one is going to be name. And let's choose character and length will be 255. All right, let's create another one. new column. This one here is going to be ingredients. And for the data type, we're going to choose text. Oops, that's not the one I want. We don't want the brackets, just text. All right, and then we'll create one more. New column, and this one is going to be directions. Data type is also going to be text. OK, so now we have our database. So we're going to go ahead and stop it here. And in the next video, we'll start to create our application and we'll implement the uh, Postgres module that we can use with Node and go from there.